Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean E, and in today's video, we are talking about parentheses and the importance of parentheses and sort of some of their practical uses. Sorry for that crappy E there. So parentheses are sort of the uh, most dominating force when we talk about order of operations. Parentheses explicitly specify the order in which operations should be completed when you are doing arithmetic. Of course, the popular acronym for the order of operations is PEMDAS, and the P in this acronym stands for parentheses, so of course parentheses are what you will do first, everything inside the parentheses, and when you are working with multiple sets of parentheses, you go from the inside out. And you can also use brackets as well as parentheses to sort of make things a little easier to follow if you're working with lots of parentheses. So, for example, let's say we had something like this. We've got parentheses, 3x plus 4 plus 5, and let's say this whole thing is getting multiplied by 4 as well. So if we were to do this out, or say we had an actual number to plug in for x, we would do this first, 3x plus 4, then add 5, moving from inside out, and then of course we would multiply it by 4. So parentheses you can use, you can put into an expression as you please um, to, to make it very clear how operations should be completed. It sort of makes it easier to run through an operation um, if you just put parentheses everywhere to make it very clear um, rather than having to jog your head with the explicit order of operations. It can also be very handy for plugging stuff into a calculator. For example, if you want a calculator to cube negative 3, you can't just write it like this, usually. Usually the calculator um, here is going to give you, well actually let me use a different example. So let's say you're trying to square negative 3. The calculator will usually give you negative 9 if this is what you put in. And if you're trying to square negative 3, that is not the correct answer. So what you have to do is put negative 3 in parentheses because what the calculator is doing is squaring 3 and then taking its negative, which is negative 9. But if you square negative 3, you get positive 9. And using the parentheses makes that very clear um, to the calculator what you want. Without the parentheses, it does exponents first, the e, and then it does the multiplication of negative 1 times 3, thus giving you your negative 9. Parentheses, of course, can also be very useful when you are trying to graph an equation into a scientific calculator um, to make sure that it's very clear what, the, what you want the calculator to do. They're very handy for if you have a numerator and a denominator of a fraction like 3x plus 4 um, divided by 3x plus 1, something like that, then you got to put you have to put this in parentheses in a calculator you need 3x plus 4 and then you would use a slash and that would tell the calculator to divide this whole expression by this whole expression so parentheses are very handy um, when you're working with calculators as well Parentheses can also be used to make your work more clear and easy to follow. Um, they're, they're very handy for being very explicit about substitution. For example, if I was starting a substitution problem, say I have y equals 2x and y equals, um, or let's say x plus y equals 4 and I wanted to solve this system of equations, I could substitute 2x into y and I might put that in parentheses to sort of make it very clear that where the y was, there is now this whole expression standing in for y, which is of course 2x. And that's especially useful for multiplication if we had something like y uh, equals x squared, and we have, I don't know, x squared y cubed equals 5 and we want to do some work with this and solve for x, we could plug x squared into y and parentheses are going to be very handy here to make things very clear because the y that we are substituting also needs to get cubed and it also has a square in it as is. So this is going to benefit greatly from parentheses when we use the parentheses to put in the x squared and then that gets cubed and that is equal to 5 and that makes things way more clear easy to look at follow and understand what's going on 
Parentheses are also handy um, for communicating multiplication. Of course, there's really no other way to multiply um, polynomials together. There's no way to communicate that other than parentheses. So if I wanted to multiply x plus 4 times x plus 5, I'd need to put them both in parentheses and just sit them side by side, and that makes the multiplication very clear. So parentheses are handy for a lot of things. They make your work very clear, um, help in making arithmetic and expressions easier to follow. It's very nice to get used to using them with a calculator. Um, because they are going to make sure that the calculator does what you want it to do. They are really your best tool for commanding um, the order of operations in an expression or in an equation. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped you understand the use of parentheses. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or need anything clarified or have any other video requests. I will see you next time and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You live it up here, dear. There's a light where I float that erases all black. It makes everything.